So you are ready for your next vacation. You have boarded the flight. You have buckled up your seat belt, and the flight takes off. And suddenly, pop! You feel your ears are getting clogged, and there is some pain in the ear. Hi, this is Dr. Debayan Tarafdar. I am an ENT and head neck surgeon working in Kolkata. And today we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic that we encounter quite regularly in our clinics. That's called aeroplane ear. Behind our eardrum, there is an air-filled space that is called middle ear cavity, and that middle ear cavity connects with a valve that is called eustachian tube. So eustachian tube opens behind our nose. So what happens when the flight is taking off? Because of the rapid altitude change, there is sudden decrease in the cabin air pressure, and the eustachian tube. which is the valve that connects the middle ear cavity cannot keep up with the sudden change of pressure that causes air being trapped inside the middle ear and that will stretch the eardrum and that's why you feel that pop and the ear feels clogged and painful quite the opposite happens when the flight is coming down that time the air pressure inside the cabin increases again if the eustachian tube cannot keep up with it you will feel the ear drum is being sucked in so what to do if you have aeroplane ear there are three simple tips to prevent aeroplane ear one our eustachian tube opens up whenever we are swallowing something we are yawning or we are chewing something so do carry some lozenges whenever you are traveling two this is a pro tip what you can do is close your nose close your mouth and try to exhale through your nose like this you'll feel a gentle pop in the ear and that means your eustachian tube is being unclogged third if you're already suffering from cold or some allergies or some sinus issues your eustachian tube will be clogged anyways so do carry a over the counter decongestant drop and use it at least 30 minutes before you board the flight If it is a long flight then reapply it 30 minutes before touching down. There is one extra tip for babies. You know babies cannot do all these things. So what parents can do they can give them a feeding bottle during the flight or give them a pacifier. If you are still having problem then please show a nearby ENT doctor. Hopefully this will help you and for more health tips please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and share this with your loved ones.